Okay, number one, I'm sorry. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this, but uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I've been smoking since I was, I'm 64. I, I was 14 years old when I get my first one. And probably, I don't know, maybe this is good for my job. I don't know. But don't do it, don't do it. Unless you're at home, which we are with Arturo in his house. Uh, it's great to be here for Tip Tuesday, our first visual Tip Tuesday. I'm here with mein Freund, mi amigo, mon ami. Monsieur Sandoval. Alles unter Kontrolle. Super, super. Super. Ein bisschen Deutsch? No. No. Nein. No, mi español is uh, also no good, so we're not even going to go okay, there. Man. No, 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 not even sweat it. Anyway, Arturo okay. is going to answer a few questions for us today. Right. And uh, let's see what we got. First one up. Arturo, what does your warm-up consist of the next day after a hard show or a run of shows? Do you stick with what we've done together in the past or do you try new things? The day after or yeah, after the Yeah, the day show? after a hard show. What kind of a warm-up routine do you have, or do you have one? This, the same one I have the day before. Yeah? What's yeah. that, basically? I would basically do the, the Maggio. Maggio. Warm-up. War, or, 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 yeah. And then I do probably the six notes of Caruso, mm -hmm. with the crescendos and then. And then I go into the Clark or Arben. I love the first, especially the first part of Arban. I, I love the whole book, but it's mm. the first part, the first part where they have all the tonguing. Yeah, those really simple straight ahead ones. Yeah, yeah. they're bad. Yeah. Especially in the jazz field, the people don't pay too much attention to the clarity and the precision of a tonguing. They take it, you know, you know what I mean? They take it so easy and I move into the blowing and noodling and things. I never spend more than two minutes noodling on that. I spend my time with the book. I explain that to students and people all the time and they don't believe it. They say, man, I was so lucky. Clifford Brown, widow, was a very dear friend of mine, LaRue Brown. Mm. And, uh, and also Clifford Jr. is a very dear friend now, and Clifford III as well. Okay, but uh, LaRue, rest in peace, she was a great lady. And, uh, and, and she, I, I asked her many times, you know, what did Clifford used to play? And she always say, Arben. He spent most of the time with the Arben. Rafael Mendez, Arben. Maurice André, Arben. You know what I mean? The yeah. picture is very clear. Don't try to invent the fifth wheel because now the fifth wheel is invented already long time ago. <laughs> Go to the, the fundamental things, the foundation, the fundamental things, the tongue, and flexibility, the sound. But my first priority always, always was, is and will be the quality of the sound, the control of the sound. You can whisper with the trumpet, and you can make a big noise in Europe, but as long as you got the sound in your hand, you're going to be able to express ideas. The best thing we could do is imitate a good singer, for example, a good singer. Because the human voice is the perfect instrument. As close as you get to the human voice when you're playing a melody or something, as good as you're going to be. That's right. But, uh, my preparation is simple. I get always get back to the dun, 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 dun. Rafael Mendes used to say scale, scale, tongue scale, clean. You know, he, they always insist on those on those kind of things. That's what I did the day before, the day after, the day tomorrow and, uh, and forty years ago. The very first time I ever heard you and saw you was at the Santa Barbara ITG, 1989. And uh, this oh, yeah. year in Grand Rapids, we're I gonna... was I was younger. <laughs> we were all younger, brother. <laughs> and, younger and smaller. <laughs> I understand that too. But we and uh, the very first thing I heard you say at that conference when you did your master class was Arbens and Clark. There were no other. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But. Um, yeah, the, the, the final thing 
I mean, the goal is to make music. Of course. Being able to express. I get so sad when I ask the people about Timo Fey, Doug Chiser, and a lot of people don't even know who he was. I say, man, I'm so sorry. If you never hear that guy playing trumpet, you have a big, a huge hole in your information. Because that's the closest thing I ever hear, hear of, a, of, a, of a human voice or a good violin or clarinet. He always said, and Clara also said, practice with clarinet, a good clarinet player. Because it's the smooth things, you know what I mean? Try to imitate those kind of things, like a violin, you know. Okay, next question. Next question. That was a great first answer. That's that's pretty much all we have to know. The fundamentals, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, what do we have here? What was the one thing that made the biggest impact in terms of your overall development as a trumpet player? Physically understanding how the trumpet works, chops, breath control, or technical issues? Man, I think everything is important. You cannot see the, all those things separate. I think it's it's a it's a it's a the the fusion fusion of many things, many things. But the first thing I mean, the most important thing for me is to follow your ear, follow, follow your instinct, and follow your sound. I believe you're gonna be able to produce the sound. Listen to this. This is a little complicated, but I, I believe it's the key of the sound you're going to be able to produce the kind of sound you could guess. The kind of sound you could imagine before you put the horn in your mouth. I said, I want to sound like this. You sound what I mean? Yeah. Some, some people, sometimes, okay, it's, it's easy for me to, to, to get a horn and play some notes or something, you know, like a with the same kind of, let me read the one. It's just easier. He's gonna bring the horn. I'm gonna sit here and do nothing because I'm on Arturo Sandoval's couch. Yeah. Okay. Listen. And he's gonna play his horn. That's too low. Okay. This is same horn, same mouthpiece. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm talking about that, that, that what you have to do to switch and sound differently is internally. It's not, it's that not has nothing to do with the horn or, or, or a technique or something. It's what you want in the way you want to sound. Yeah. Something. something my teacher in Juilliard talked about all the time, which was to try to sound, well, you said it already, sounding like a singer, having imagination, not trying to sound like a trumpet player necessarily. Melody. <laughs> It's like expressing, expressing feelings and things and that. Another question? I don't really think there are any other questions. I think you covered pretty much everything right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no. You know what? We don't even need questions. I have a question for you. It's my Tip Tuesday. I get to ask you any question I want. And Go ahead. Be careful. Be careful. I'll bring, I'll bring you a shot. <laughs> I'll bring you a shot. <laughs> no. Uh, that covers everything. I, I don't think there's anything else that would really need to be demonstrated on the trumpet, Arturo. Your imagination is incredible. Tell me, especially um, for younger players coming up, A, not only, it's not a question of how many hours you practice when you, but how, how did you practice in terms of the hours? What were you thinking about? Because in the time I get to spend with you, one thing I know about you is you are a person that lives in the moment. Right in the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every single but I second. Tell you something. I think yeah. the most important thing, the best advice I mm -hmm. could give to any trumpet player, doesn't matter if you are 10 years old or 102, <clears throat> every time we have the opportunity to sit down and practice, you know what's my best recommendation? Take, that's going to take three seconds only. Three seconds. As soon as you are ready, you put your book, you got your horn, get a glass of water there, sit down, yeah, and then take three seconds. Look up and say, Sans God. Three seconds. The, the frame of mind that I'm going to create because you are so grateful, you are so glad that instead of doing something else, you are about to start practicing, which is you have to take it as a gift from God, because you don't have a necessity to be breaking stones in the mine or driving a truck from Oklahoma to Key West or something like that. You are sitting down with your beloved instrument practicing. What for? To get better. You understand know what I mean? And, and that really, you're going to be so happy that you're, the, 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 I mean, the result you're going to have from your time spending with your, going to be a lot more productive. Because you are sensible. You understand know what I mean? You are really having good time. And then you're going to be so focused and concentrate in what you're doing. And that's very important too. When you're practicing, forget about other stuff or your preoccupation about any other thing. You have to take a break there. And your mind has to be there 100% concentrate in what you're doing. That's the best tip ever. And you must be in love with music. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me, like, you, I think it was Maju who used to say that, baby, don't ask me for money. I cannot help you in that matter. <laughs> don't think about the business side of the career, because that don't help you at all. The best thing is 
enjoy the music. Be so happy you are doing something to improve your playing, to be a better musician. That's not going to make a big difference, big difference. If you are in love with the music, you will for sure, I promise you, you're going to be a happy person. Even if you're living in a little room with 50 cents in your pocket, if you got the music in your heart, you're going to be a happy person. You're, not gonna, you're never going to feel lonely or depressed or sad or down. No way. The music don't, don't let you get in that state of mind. Beautiful. Arturo, I want to thank you very much. Really. You're very welcome, man. You're very welcome, man. Thank you. Thanks very much for tuning in next Tuesday. Well, you see what it is. It's, <laughs> it's no BS here, guys. No, no BS. <laughs>